The hook I am using is Gamagatsu's SS15 in size 2. And the thread is Vivis 140 Power Thread in fluorescent hot pink. You will want to start your thread towards the back of the hook to keep the bulk down. Tie in a tan grizzly marabou feather so it extends out about a hook shank length from the bend of the hook. And trim off the waist. Now tie in five to six strands of crystal flash so it extends out about double the length of the marabou. And trim off that waist. Now select two strands of crystal flash and pull aside. Then snip the rest of the strands to just slightly longer than the marabou. Now take two rubber legs and tie them in in the center of the bunch so they extend out about double the length of the marabou. Pull the forward facing strands rearward and tie them in on the other side of the marabou. I am using tan speckled legs, but use whatever you'd like. I have these homemade mono shrimp eyes, and I do have a video linked in the description section on how to make your own, but you can buy these as well. Tie them in so the eyes extend to about as long as the marabou. Angle them outward a bit before snipping off the waist. Make a wrap or two under the eyes to flare them out a bit more. Now take another tan grizzly marabou feather and snip off the thicker part of the quill. Prepare it for tying in by cutting some of the fiber off the sides of the quill. Then tie the feather in at a slight angle and begin to make touching wraps around the hook shank with the feather. Capture the tag end and trim off the waist. Then brush everything rearward, then forward again, to make sure none of the fibers are trapped. Now let's make a dubbing loop with our thread, and bring the thread about halfway up the hook shank. Attach your dubbing twister, and set your loop aside. We will now be cutting a large chunk of tan craft fur. Do this by separating a large section with your scissors. Cut the fiber at the base of the craft fur, removing the entire section. Pinch low on the chunk and pull out the under fur. Now pinch just the tip of the craft fur and pull out the shorter fibers. Align the tips of the shorter fibers with the tips of the longer fibers to make it much thicker. Measure your fiber to about as long as the crystal flash and hold that measurement with your other hand. Cut the fiber square at that measurement and then turn the fibers around so you're holding with the other hand. Place the fibers into your dubbing loop and spread them out evenly along the loop. Then twist up your dubbing loop to create yourself a dubbing brush. Take a toothbrush and brush out the fibers to make sure none are trapped. Proceed to make palmered wraps up the hook shank, pulling the fibers rearward with every single wrap. Capture your loop with the thread and trim off the waist. Now, pick out the craft fur with your bodkin to ensure no fibers are trapped. Then pull all the fibers rearward and make a few loose wraps on top of the fibers a bit to ensure they stay aligned rearward. Okay, let's make one more dubbing loop and bring your thread up to the eye of the hook. Pull out some of this tan starburst dubbing and pull apart several times in your fingers to align the fibers. Then place into your dubbing loop and evenly arrange them. Make a few spins with your loop to create a dubbing brush and then pick out all the fibers.
Proceed to wrap your dubbing loop up the hook shank, pulling all the fibers rearward with every wrap. Once you reach your thread, capture the dubbing loop and cut off the waist. Pull all the fibers rearward and out of the way of the hook eye. Then tie up on top of the dubbing a bit to make sure they stay facing rearward. Pick out all the trap dubbing with your bodkin and then brush everything forward and then rearward again with your toothbrush. Now you can whip finish your fly and cut your thread. To finalize this fly and make it more durable, I will be using Bone Dry, which is a UV curing resin made by Solares. Simply paint it on the whip finish with a built-in applicator, ensuring not to get any on the hook eye or any of your dubbing. Then simply zap it with your UV light and it will cure hard without any tackiness. As you can see, the fly will sink slowly and quite gracefully. And it will look like a fleeing shrimp with quick and short strips. It will also look like a swimming shrimp when stripped slowly and evenly. This fly really does have some great movement. And I did hook a sea trout with it on my last saltwater trip. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description section for a list of materials I used today. Also, just so you guys know, I have some new shirts available. So check them out. I have a link in the description section where you can purchase them. You will be helping the channel out and also getting a product I think is wonderful for fishing. I would like to give a special thanks to those of you who have started supporting me. Your donations are what keep my channel alive. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.